Dr. Ken Thompson, who would go on to become the co-developer of Unix, was born in 1943 in New Orleans. He grew up with his brother and sister in the loving care of his parents. When he was a child, he lived in Japan because of his father's work. The good memories from his days in Japan have made him a fan of Japanese culture. This particular photo was taken in Kamakura. He had been interested in computers since a very young age, and when he was in high school, he even built a handmade robot. After high school, he went on to study at the University of California, Berkeley. After graduating, he joined Bell Labs, the same company as Dr. Ritchie. Around this time, a big change was sweeping across the computer world. The rise of computer operating systems. Developers around the world, not to mention Bell Labs, were racing to enhance the performance of computer applications and hardware through operating system development. In 1964, Bell Labs, along with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and General Electric, began joint development of an operating system. This project was named Multix, and Dr. Ritchie and Dr. Thompson from Bell Labs were chosen as project members. However, between 1968 and 1969, Bell Labs decided to withdraw from the project. They realized that in pursuing the ideal system, the project had become too large and complex, and the overall system performance wasn't going to live up to their expectations. In leaving the project, Dr. Thompson regretted letting go of the space travel game he had developed for Multics in his spare time, of which he was very fond. Dr. Thompson ported the game to an old computer in the laboratory, and from then on, with the help of Dr. Ritchie, added the important functionality of Multics. This laid the foundation for a new operating system, which would later go on to become Unix. Dr. Ritchie, on the other hand, developed the C programming language to enhance the readability and portability of the Unix operating system. Through this effort, Unix gained a larger user base. Despite Bell Labs' withdrawal from the project, the doctors personally kept the development alive, and as a result, Unix was born. Despite its low-profile birth, Unix today is used in computers around the world. Dr. Thompson, on the other hand, loves computer chess, classic cars, and airplanes. He loves airplanes so much that he can fly one himself. Having spent his childhood years in Japan, he is quite fond of Japanese culture and is a big fan of sumo wrestling. Co-developed by the doctors today, Unix has deeply infiltrated our lives. Most notable is the Internet. The realization of the Internet was made possible when Unix equipped with TCP IP protocols was developed. This version was based on the Unix that was given to the University of California, Berkeley by the two doctors. The idea of providing source code free of charge is called open source. The doctor's openness in sharing ideas amongst researchers without seeking financial return gave rise to a new kind of development philosophy. The doctor's achievements have received recognition from various quarters. In 1983, they received the Turing Award, which is given to individuals who have made outstanding contributions to computer science. In 1998, they were awarded the National Medal of Technology by then-President Bill Clinton. On the other hand, Dr. Thompson has since left Bell Labs and today works for Google Inc. He has been developing a new programming language. The inquisitive Dr. Thompson has the following message for up-and-coming researchers. Research and development are two different things. Development has clear goals, but research is goalless because it's the act of discovering something new. If you are a researcher, you need to continue enjoying your research at hand. Other than Unix, I've had many research topics like voice recognition, 
language, searching, security, games, and whatever I found interesting. Unix resulted from research into new things we were merely interested in. We are very lucky. It turned out to be very fruitful.